Hey everyone, it's Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs and today I want to share a quick shirt that I made. Funny when you watch someone else's video and get inspired, this jumped into my computer and pretty much made itself. I'm using a design from the Caesar Leonardo Design Studio design library. It is a pro version, um, pro design, so make sure to check out the links in the description below for information on the Leonardo Design Studio Pro. I turned on print and cut marks. I then had to set my page for letter size and reset those page marks so it would be accurate for the material I was printing on. I am using a product called Caesar Easy Color DTV. I love this and I've had very good success with it. I have made quite a few shirts with it and some of them are over a year old now and still look great. So I'm just resizing this. A tip if you want to rotate your design on your mat. Sometimes you can get it a little bit larger than if you were just going straight vertical up and down. Now, since this is a cut file, I had to turn it into a print and cut file. So I had to build a contour print and cut logo. I needed to check the include holes option so that it would cut inside of the holes for my letters. And then I chose apply and my design is ready to go. I'll have more links in the description below on some additional tutorials as well that go step by step. I then sent this to print. The top is my print artwork. I'm sending through my Canon TS9521C printer through my rear tray. And I'm living on the edge here with my, my ink. I don't recommend that for your Easy Color DTV, but this is for me, so I just continued to let it go. And then I have my printout. And I'm setting it up with the Caesar Juliet. This was my first attempt. I was doing my test cuts because I don't remember what I cut with my blade the last time. So I did some test cuts to make sure that my blade length and my force was going to be perfect for the Caesar Easy Color DTV. And I think I had to go grab a weeding tool. and it cut perfectly. So once I knew I had that test cut, and I left this in the video because there's something here, a tip, my cutting mat, I keep using it and it is not sticky. It has been well used and especially for the DTV, it doesn't like to hold on to the backing. So I was trying to still use it here, but then I noticed when I moved my mat to position it back again, you're going to see that that paper lifts up. It was not stuck to my mat. It is not going to work. So I ended up yeah, shaking my finger at myself and I ended up getting a new, brand new, I used a light tack mat. That's the first thing I found in my studio. So I grabbed that. It is very sticky um, to hold this DTV. And then I'm just going to position that back on the cutting mat. A good sticky mat is always a good Thing, you want your material to be well stuck down while it's cutting or your cuts may not complete and connect. So then I loaded it again and I've already done that test cut. So I am just positioning the housing and it's showing you that it's stuck down. I'm positioning the housing and then I'm going to go back to my Leonardo Design Studio software to send this as a cut. Since I did my test cuts from the machine, I have used cutter settings checked and it's going to use those from the Juliet machine. It is now reading the registration marks. It's going slow. I don't know why I'm not going to test it right now, but I uh, just let it do its thing. As long as it's accurate, that's what I like. So I'm sure there's something else I could research here, but that's for a future date. Again, this was just a project that jumped into my computer. It was not on my list to do, but I watched Mama K Bear on TikTok and she had me getting into the software and creating a design. And then this part I did speed up. So Juliet is super fast. It is not always recommended to cut materials at a super high fast speed but I did speed this part of the video up. She cut it in 
probably two minutes, I think is what it took or less. And I don't even remember what speed I had it on. And then you can see here, I'm going to release my mat and I'm gonna grab my weeding hook and then I'm going to carefully peel the extra away and I'm going to weed the design. Now you do wanna be careful, Caesar Easy Color DTV does not have a sticky backing. So you're going to see later on the, in the video, I had a couple issues because I reused my mask. The one thing I do wanna make a note of here is before you mask it, if you have to use the mask, if you have multiple pieces, my words are not connected to my design, you need to wait 24 hours after printing to make sure that the ink is completely dry before you use the mask. So I weeded this design and then I set it on my back counter and I came back to it the next day. And here is the video I am going to mask this. I am reusing my mask and that could be why I had a little bit of an issue here that you'll see in just a minute. Um, it, you can reuse it as long as there's no ink that has transferred to that mask. Now, I probably should not have reused this sheet, um, but I'm showing you how I am just carefully getting it to stick to the mask. And you wanna go slow. You just wanna watch. You can usually save your project if you run into something. Last week I had it cut too deep into the backing and so I had to give it a little bit of a help. That was not the product's fault. That was completely user error. And you can usually save the project if you just have a little bit of patience and go slow. And there's that finished mask. Now, the one thing I have learned with using Caesar Easy Color GTV is do not get your design anywhere near heat when you are after it's on the mask because it can cause it to curl and to release from the mask. And you're going to see a little bit of that issue here. Part of that is because I reused my um, transfer mask. And part of it is because I, as you'll see, I have a hard time with lining things up on shirts. So it was taking me a little while to decide if did I want this design at an angle? Did I want it straight? Um, that's just how I roll, I guess. <laughs> Sometimes it takes me forever just to do that. And then I just say, screw it and move on. And usually my shirts are crooked anyhow. So good thing I only create for personal use. So you'll see here, I am positioning the design and taking a step back to look. Um, I like to do it on the flat surface just to try to get the most out of it. And it didn't look centered, even though I had put, pinpointed that center point. Um, the first time I did it, I guess I did, did it wrong because it really did not look centered. And you'll see here, I did it again. And then what happened is my H fell off and then my Y fell off. And it took me a little bit of time. This is sped up, but it took me time to fix that. And it was worth it. it the shirt ended up, you, you can see the Y there. Um, shirt ended up turning out just great. Um, but again, that heat can cause the DTV to kind of release from your mask. So be careful when you're doing that and try not to fiddle around with it too much. As you can see, I ended up having a few issues here, but I just worked through them. And then I finally decided on how I wanted this to go on, or I decided screw it and <laughs> we're going to go with it and just put that on my heat press. Then I did use a cover sheet and press this there i show the cover sheet again press that and i love dtv uh, make sure to follow the care instructions i'll put a link in the description below on those care instructions um, you really you want to wash it 24 hours after pressing to get rid of any of the excess ink and your printer is definitely going to make a difference now i should have probably used a print bleed on here there is a teeny tiny sliver of white around it but this is a shirt for my personal use. So thanks for watching. Hope that helps inspire you just a little bit. Have a great day.